Miles and Cohen Kingsman. Welcome back to the NTW3 Battlefield. Hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope you guys are ready for another viciously fought, close, bloody battle. Today, we have a 4v4 on Albura. Now, not a historical course necessarily, but you know, I um, mean, the UK, Spain is here, France is here, Espana, France especially, um, is here. Now, this is the France Italy right there, but behind them, in the background is France, eight point Espana. So an eight and a nine pointer. Then on the other side, you have a t an eight point France Egypt, and then a ten point France Espana. So a decent amount of the the Spanish cores on the field for France. Now on the other side, like I said, we have the UK. I believe there's two of them. I'm not sure which points they are. I'm assuming they're the nine pointers. Um, and then of course a Spain, and then an Austria. And actually. It may just be one UK and two Austrias on the field here um, instead. Yeah, that's what definitely what it is. So I, I'm curious if they brought Wellington. No, they did not. That's okay. He's a very expensive, very good morale, but very expensive. Now, the French are going to be having to do most of the attacking. There's only three LOC points on this field, one of them being right here in the center, another one being way over there, and another one being over here where France has it. So obviously, um, with this game, you don't want to focus too much on LOCs, but if you're going to focus on some LOCs, uh, you know, the center's a good place to go, but it's so early in the battle, both sides probably won't even be worried about that. Right now, it's over some choice ground here. Now, the UK have a lot of really excellent ground that they're holding, um, and they have a nice river to retreat to. Now... They do not have this next slope, because you notice there's a lot of smooth slopes here. Um, but over here is some very excellent ground that France is going to have to start pushing across. In fact, they are. They're going straight for Some skirmishers shooting at them, but they're pushing across the river, across this little grassy, like, green area. Um, these skirmishers actually shooting at some Chasseur Cheval. Um, but yeah, the, the coalition have this area, now they're gonna have to watch out because this 10-pointer made a huge flanking push here on the right. So they're gonna have to keep an eye out for it, obviously they have some artillery set up already trying to hit. Now, the 10-pointer, they are under attack, but they have some terrain, I think, that they're trying to use. And you can see, the, I don't wonder if these guys are gonna try to shoot something else. Because there's not a lot of, a lot of targets in the moment. Uh, the UK have a small force pushed up. Obviously, the Austrians have some cavalry over here as well. Looks like some hussars kind of protecting that right flank. Now, we do have horse artillery from the 10-pointer already also firing, going for some line infantry early on, some fusiliers from the UK. A very good unit to go for, as they're pretty good in the stats. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I also am recovering from being yet again sick. Sim it's just that you know it's it's just what happens with working in healthcare you get you get sick patients and you sometimes catch it just it is what it is but I apologize if I'm coughing or if I sound all weird it's just because I'm sick so I think that's enough of an explanation uh, moving on so the Spanish were maybe gonna try to push across Ooh, looks like they have some dragoons but uh, France definitely has oh, two units of cab to scare them back across two chasseurs cheval um, so they're gonna pull back uh, Spain kind of looks like they may be the ones trying to hold the town and let the UK take the center. Um, Austria obviously may be a reserve. One of their armies looks like they've almost made it to this right side um, with another army coming up in reserve. Now the UK are getting pummeled by artillery. I did see a massive amount of French artillery setting up here. You can see six guns total, 12 and 8 pounders. That is going to be quite painful for the coalition to have to deal with. Um, now, the 8-point Espana looks like they're pushing around to this right side. Maybe they're going to take on Spain. And Egypt has pushed over here to this left side to help out maybe with the 10-point Espana. 9 France, they are going straight in at the UK here. And the UK may be trying to fall back. Maybe they weren't expecting to actually hold this hill. They were hoping to push back any attack made by the French. However, France is obviously pushing in force. Now, the nice thing is Spain is right here to kind of threaten the flank of any French army that tries to make a push here. Um, and that's going to make this position a little harder to, to attack <laughs> until they get... Oh, man. <coughs> Excuse me. 
until we get a eight point France Espana up here to maybe threaten the flank of Spain. Spain's gonna have some ease of access, which is why France has shifted that right flank away from these columns and also the strategic placement of artillery to drive back the Spanish um, as they push up. This is nice, juicy columns. This artillery could shoot up. But it's like the battle is starting to shift over towards this side. I can't tell if the 10 pointer is trying to push too much. They're kind of just being a slow and steady way for Egypt to advance with them. Um, see, they're pushing up some artillery here, pushing up more infantry, kind of keeping the bulk of their army back away from the guns here. Now we are starting to see, ooh, artillery placement from the Austrians kind of further back. Not a bad, not a bad idea, keeping it away, but yet close enough to be able to shoot the French. You <laughs> see this guy getting dragged by his horse. Wow. But it's like there's counter battery happening here. But yeah, nice shots up on the French, my goodness. Most of guys will get up, but still. Now the battle seems to be shifting away from this corner up to here. However, like I said, France, Egypt, or France, Espana, still pushing on this side. Maybe they're going to be able to push right into the rear of the Spanish line. Uh, if Spain keeps shifting to meet the France-Italy. It does appear, though, that now the UK do have their reinforcements with the Austrian lines pushing up. I hope that's Austrian, not HRE. I'm pretty sure it's Austrian. Almost 100% sure. But they're going to push up towards the front as well. The UK may try to switch some troops out. They don't want to take this fight, necessarily, of just skirmishers and artillery. Um, and they have a hill they can hide behind, but if they pull back too much, the French are just going to advance and take advantage of them falling back. And some Hussars to set in strategically to protect this artillery piece. Um, we have a line of UK force pushing forward here. Uh, you can see the French in the background here. Does look like France is consolidating here. You can see the nine pointer shifting more and more troops. They may be trying to get like three stacks of armies in this one area, and maybe they can slam into the enemy. Maybe even using this road, but with the French artillery up in front, plus some more over here, man. That's a lot of artillery from 10 point Espana. It's what, seven guns? Can I math? No, eight guns. No. Six, seven, eight. Okay, it is eight. Eight guns. <laughs> oh, I can't math, apparently. Um, but yeah, no. <clears throat> a lot of artillery. This is going to force... This is going to force the coalition to fall back off of a very strategic position. And not only that, but now the French can attack with impunity. They can attack, and if it's going disastrously, they can always fall back, and the guns will defend them. Uh, so, I mean, people have always said, you know, have a gun set up to be in a defensive position to where you can fall back to your guns and the enemy won't be able to just push you, not without taking heavy losses. Um, and over here, this artillery, this is gonna probably help just pin down the uh, Mistral Legion. I love the Mistral Legion, they're such a powerful regiment. Um, but they have a lot of artillery here that's just gonna be hitting the flank, really forcing the Spanish to push, pull back. And maybe they can even push across this river um, without letting the Spanish stop them. In fact, you can see maybe that's what they're doing here. Now they're advancing a line, and this line is hidden. Um, Spain has got a really good position, though, with artillery. And I'm assuming they have infantry ranged all along this hill. So this will not be an easy attack for the A-pointer. They got their work cut out for them at the moment. But I'm curious how this attack will go. Both sides have some very good artillery. Um, ooh, this is not good, though. A lot more artillery, so at least six more guns for the coalition set up here. So, man, both sides bring in heavy artillery builds. 
You can see six guns over here, six guns over here, two more over here, plus another three over here. I mean, that's that's over 12 guns. Way over 12 guns. Just this, just Austria has 12 guns. Uh-oh. Oh, no, the UK just lost it. I think they were trying to limber up their guns, and they got knocked out by some maybe skirmishers, maybe artillery, whatever it was. They lost their artillery position here. Um... So now at least 12 guns. Oh, eh, no, 12. 15 guns because the Spanish, too. Now, France did not like going right into the face of that artillery. So he's going to fall back. He's definitely not going to take this. And he's going to probably wait to see how this other attack develops. Like I said, guys, a lot of French consolidation here. This is a lot of French all focused in one area. This is a very, very stereotypical tactic the French used in reality. Like, they actually did use this. They used consolidation and striking one area. <clears throat> and obviously, it worked very well because they are still using it in a video game later on down the road. The nice thing about this is they have France, Egypt to us, chunky, chunky units that they can put up in the front, take a lot of hits, and do well. We have France, um, Italy, pushing on this left side. You have the Espana, maybe with a little bit of Egypt, pushing on this side. I think this is going to be a, an attack in the next five minutes, especially seeing Austria not in this right flank anymore. Unless this is another Austrian army, and there's one here. <clears throat> That is a lot of Austria focused in the center. And there's not a lot of French there, guys. I mean, they are, unless they're going to make an attack, there is nothing really here. There's a small contingent of Espana left in the forest. Or in this, whatever you call that. Oh, no. Egypt lost their guns. This is why you have to keep Cav with your guns or don't take the artillery, you know? Um, well, at least they know now there is Spanish cavalry in the back. So they have to watch out for that. Yeah, because Bonaparte... Wait, where is Bonaparte? Where's Boney? I am confused. He dismounted. I don't know where he is. I mean, imagine if I can't find him. Imagine now that... Well, I guess the enemy would know, because he's... He's, uh... Lit up. This is so weird. I don't know where Napoleon went, guys. He... He left his horses. And went somewhere, and I do not know where, and I'm going to stop trying to find him because it looks like things may be developing here in this battle. <clears throat> yep, we have a French advance, guys. Look at this all going in one direction. Look at that. All going this direction. The artillery could defend the flank, maybe, because the coalition are a little spread out. Their reserves are pretty deep behind enemy li their, their own lines. This is a very exciting... Oh, man. We're about to have some real action here, guys. Cavalry pushing forward with the infantry. If you see this, you better be prepared to either run away or to meet it with some heavy cav. And they have infantry they can push forward. I would be falling back a little bit at least. I'd pull this... I'd the artillery be able to shoot here back. I would relimber up this artillery... This artillery even is set up, but I'd pull this line back. I'd set it up to here, have a flanking force sitting right here. <clears throat> the UK don't seem to be prepared necessarily for this. So many troops in this one area, guys. You can see they're not even all loaded. Now, because this, this unit is so massive, it can probably take a line fight for a little bit. 
and then the French will push in. Oh, this Austria better be advancing like yesterday. They need to be up here to help out here. A nice little uh, charge by this cavalry taking out some skirmishers and now some French infantry are going to push up here causing some some kind of confusion maybe in the lines the way the French or the coalition aren't totally sure as to which way the French are going to attack. This is of course a risky play guys. I mean it's not like this isn't without risk with artillery being able to pummel these heavy columns. Uh, the Austrians being able to push up and start shooting up this line. But without any real cav support for the coalition, like this cav should be over here. The French probably can still take a nice cav charge and be okay. But still, this, this is about to be juicy. My computer will break and load. Yeah, we have a general advance by the French, so they are prepared to attack this in earnest. The UK standing their ground. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, no way. <clears throat> the Spanish just took out all this artillery with that Dragoon. My gosh, they just wiped out this right side. And now Spain has an opportunity to push and really make a, 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 a an actual attack without artillery really harassing their flank. That is huge for the coalition. A huge victory here. Now this artillery is actually a terrible position. And they may have to reposition it, because if it was right here, it would be firing. But the French actually have the opportunity to not even worry about it. Man, look at this. Artillery set up in the front lines. Yeah, the French have plenty of forces here. And they are not rushing into this yet. However, this flank, guys, that's going to be concerning here. Not sure what the French aim to do. But it does look like the right flank is starting to push forward. You can see, uh, yep, France, España going to start pushing on Spain. Austria kind of s shifting up to support this side. This fight's not going too well for France, guys. And now the Austrians are going to charge in for a cav charge here. And some cheap French units are going to get just routed immediately. France needs to get their... Wait... Why is there rowdy? Oh my gosh, no way. Guys, this artillery is just pummeling this front line. They're actually taking a line fight with the coalition, which is almost madness. Um, if you know your stats on the French versus coalition, but they are actually doing an excellent job and actually winning. Oh! The lines are stacked so deep for the coalition that this artillery is getting three depths of damage on the coalition's line. Now over here, things aren't going so hot for the French. And you see they had some lines break. They are going to try to do their best to hold here. There's a lot of cav consolidation by the coalition. This fight I think is going to go pretty well here. I think the French have a very good opportunity to win this fight, especially with the artillery just pummeling this French, this coalition line. Oh, 
Oh, we have more cavalry charging in. Oh man, Espana is in trouble, guys. He is he is getting hurt pretty bad. He has no squares. He has some cavalry though that maybe will help him out, but this side has just been going totally downhill. Since the beginning, they have not really been able to make any kind of a move here, and they are about to get mass routed. He does have the rest of his army over here at least. This is the duel of artillery, guys. Infantry is definitely fighting in this, but the artillery seems to be the one that is setting the tone here. So if he does some cavalry, try to go for the guns. And they had to pull their artillery piece back for a moment. Oh, we have France pushing for an attack. We have Egypt pushing forward this chunky unit, and some cavalry gonna go in as well. Now the UK can form some squares, so it's definitely not going to be super easy. However, they are still going to make impact with those lines, and now they can go in for the bayonet charge. And talk about stopping the coalition from being able to shoot with just two units, a cap and an infantry, and now the mass melee begins. Oh, so beautiful. Man, look at this. So they charge in with some grenadiers, lock up this already formed square. More units going in with the square that was still formed by the UK, and the mass route just starts. The madness starts here. On all sides, Dragoons now smacking into the flank here. The mass route, though, is going to start trickling into these reserve lines. The Coalition trying to throw up some more cavalry to help with this line. Austria even sending in more lines to stop here, but at this point, guys... Oh my gosh, that's a huge amount of cavalry. This is turned into chaos. And I'm seeing a lot of coalition oh, routing here. With the trick down effect going into Austria, Austria pushing up on the flank, but still this kind of center push. Oh my gosh, look at how fast this is sweeping. Oh wait, we have Austria now pushing forward here. Where are they going? And just like that, I think it's over. Over here, France, Espana trying to hold Spain back, doing a good job of that, I think. And yeah, the fighting's still happening all along. Man, even the Highlanders, just the shock morale. Debuff from all the allies. In fact, even a general breaking. Man, the back charges of the cab. Oh no. Uh, Ally General has been killed. We do have some cavalry going in against this French line over here where Austria is trying to push, maybe push back. However, this is too small of an attack to affect the center where, I mean, France did have some breakage with so much coalition cavalry pouring oh, in here. Running. And French infantry probably winded, exhausted, tired. France really is going to start uh, taking some losses against all the coalition cavalry. Now over here, you see Spain's just going for a like a shootout with this France. Now France is in the forest; they are actually doing a good job of focusing down on Spain. The mass route here, basically, this UK is all but dead. Over here, looks like the Austrians just rolling back. Actually, this flank, not without taking maybe some losses though. All men are running. In the grand scheme of things, guys, France has been very victorious. Very, very victorious. Man, my computer does not want to focus zooming in here. But you can see the massive amount of dead. And then, the, of course, this the massive amount of... Whoa, actually, it's all, they're all coming back. I mean, they probably didn't take a ton of losses. A lot of the troops may come back. But they're going to have to rest, which is why France probably is going to keep pursuing to make sure they don't come back. And with all of them having run so far, they're going to be exhausted. It's not going to be very easy for them to still fight. Over in this land fight here, it's pretty even. 
pretty dead even. Austria is starting to have some breaking. They're trying to hold this right side with what's left of their troops. Um, they have some reserves over here. France starting to push out. I think they're starting to try to encircle, <laughs> excuse me, circle this Austria. Um, as you can see, the attack finally failed for them. And France has somewhat of a reserve. They actually did take some losses here. Not tons and tons, but they definitely took some. You can see troops having broken. So it wasn't without some mix of loss for France. However, there's still some cavalry and infantry left for the coalition. Man, that was a beautiful attack. I'll be the first to say, that was beautiful. I loved this attack here in the center. I liked how it was a raging fight for a little while. You can see the UK lines here. They stood their ground for a long time. Um, and then once that cab went in, they formed square in the cab. Even if you broke that cab, it forced the UK to stay in a square long enough for infantry to pour in an attack. And like I said before, guys, the Espana, no, not the Espana, the Egypt, France, Egypt, that chunky unit, that I think made impact with three Austrian lines at once. So it stopped three units from firing. Three units from firing. I wonder if it made it. Try to look for the ratting troops. See if it made it. It was like the 200 and something man unit. It may have broken, just, you know. Officer principal getting just shocked. It may also still be alive. There it is, see? They made it. Even after impacting on like this much scale. Still alive, still they're winded, of course, but man. Now the coalition are going to be reforming their lines. You can see some of the troops did probably come back. There was a lot more troops running before, so they're probably gonna rest them up. Wait and see what happens here. Spain is still holding. They do have their artillery set up. More Austrian artillery set up. We may have some cavalry going to try to break that artillery battery. Some brave Chasseur Cheval. Going in for the artillery piece. Instead, he's going to divert to a infantry unit. Just, you know, he may actually break them, and then he could go for the artillery piece as well. Uh, France actually pushing forward a lot of infantry as well, so he's coordinating on two different points. And that actually may not only break artillery, but may break part of the coalition's line as France then begins to start collapsing in on the Spanish side. Man, I like how it was going so badly for Spain for or from France for a second. And then all of a sudden, nowhere, are a things change. I love this mod for that very reason. The, you can just win out of nowhere. Some Austrian Lancers trying to save this battle, going in for a vicious charge here. France going to counter that with some volleys and some bayonet charges of their own. Spain is on their last breath. It looks like France even went in for some bayonet charges. And I think I know why Spain wasn't winning this. They're fighting against Vistula Legion. Talk about, well, maybe not. <clears throat> but they had some good quality infantry in this army. And now with Spain gone, it is just a matter of time. Sorry, I keep coughing you guys here. I'm sure that's no uh, But, you know, my voice... <coughs> won't last too long without, you know, trying to <clears throat> kill itself, I guess. I don't know. I think this battle's pretty much over, though, guys. But what, you know what? It was worth it. It was so worth it just for this massive fight here. Look at the death. Look at that.
The amount of dead bodies in this one area. That's a battle that, like, afterwards you just sit on the hill and say, man, that was a good fight. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> just a small condition. I mean, I'm almost tempted to. Well, we'll see. The UK may be making a last desperate or just defense, and I don't want to take the glory away from them of being able to at least appreciate their defense. Now, I do think what could have been done differently. I don't know. I really don't know. I thought France was going to go in for that attack in the very beginning. They didn't. They sat there and waited a little bit, and they were actually, in some ways, now they were losing on this portion, but the front part was actually winning quite well against. Uh, the coalition, surprisingly, considering it's the UK shooting. Uh, I think it was that artillery that was helping, but I think they weakened the UK enough to be able to, not only that, but you gotta sometimes time your bayonet charges and your cab charges. Wait for the enemy to be a little spent. Wait for them to have to have uh, volleyed a couple shots off at least, taken some losses, <clears throat> and then go in with some reserves who are fresh. And that's exactly what they did, and that was the Timing is everything sometimes when it comes to these. And I think they just timed it beautifully. I will say that. They timed that attack beautifully with the cab and infantry using Egypt, like I thought they maybe would, with the, uh, you know, massive units. They can uh, take some pretty heavy losses before they break, so they can charge in there and probably get in a melee and stay in there long enough for your reserve line to go up. You don't want to send in a 90-man unit into a bayonet charge, frontal bayonet charge against the coalition. It probably will lose at least 25% casualties, which can cause that shock to the morale, and then they'll break before they even get a chance to actually stay in a melee fight. But at this point, I'm just going to fast forward here. Um, I don't think this is... I think maybe this player left? I'm not sure, actually. But uh, I'm going to skip to the end, guys. So we can see the results. Um, obviously, probably going to have some heavier casualties uh, or more kills on the Imperial side, just because once they broke, they probably were running down troops. Um, <clears throat> but, man, I, I, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised with that battle. That went very well, considering, you know, the end result. It was, it was a hard-fought battle. I would have enjoyed that one. And the coordination by France is something that... That's always the fun of the coalition, or pl playing in NW3, especially as the French... Being able to do those bayonet charges where you charge in with a cab and infantry and just start smashing down the coalition's line. But anyway, I'm going to skip to the end, guys, just so we can see the results of this battle. All right, guys, so as you can see on the French side, so you have Argens as the 9-point Italy with 1,074 for the kills. You have um, Eppeliner, I don't know, <laughs> and with the 8-point France, Espana, 769 for the kills. 8-point France, Egypt with 1,261. And uh, the 10-point France, Espana, with 1656. On the other side, you have Big Nuba as the 9-point Spain with 706. Uh, the UK got 429. They, they got the full brunt of that melee charge. Otherwise, they probably would have gotten a lot more kills, but they kind of got focused down pretty fast. Um, and then, of course, you have these two Austrias, who, well, we don't really know who was who in that fight, but you have 767 and 852. Um, so, yeah, definitely, definitely decisive victory at the end for the French. Once that bayonet charge happened, it was all over. But still, a very enjoyable battle. Loved it. Um, and I hope you guys did as well. So anyway, that'll be it for me today, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. As always, stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.